On paper, GoodNotes obviously has more features, but does that actually make it a better app than Apple Notes in 2025? Have all the updates to Apple Notes culminated into something worth leaving paid apps for? Apple Notes is free and it is available for all your Apple devices with a web version even. We appreciate it even if it's not the most amazing. GoodNotes, on the other hand, has a free trial that lets you create a maximum of three notebooks. But it's not free. You can get it for a subscription of $10 a year if you want to use the app on Android and Windows. The web version is also a subscription. For those of us who just want to stick to the Apple ecosystem, there's a one-time purchase of $30. Be you warned. The Android version is not as good as the iOS version of GoodNotes 6. At least it wasn't the last time we tried it. We also haven't had the privilege to try it on Windows, so we can't speak for that one. If you have used it on Windows, please share your experience in the comments. It might help someone trying to make a decision. Both apps don't have theme colors to customize your user interface. They also don't have full screen mode, and GoodNotes is not as minimalist as Apple Notes. It has a separate home page and workspace. The two toolbars have always felt like much, but they anchor to the edge of the app, so we like them now because we realize things could be worse with floating toolbars all over the place. You can customize the main toolbar to have as little as one tool. It can either be at the top as it is right now, or at the bottom of your screen. The only advantage Apple Notes has against GoodNotes 6 is that its homepage and workspace are on a single screen. Once you get used to that setup, the setup in GoodNotes starts feeling like too much work. Apple Notes toolbar is not as customizable as the one in GoodNotes 6. The mobile toolbar is too big and covers some of your notes, which is unpleasant. You have to keep moving it around as you take your notes. At least you can tuck it away when you lose your patience, but you have to bring it back again when you want to change the tool you're using. Apple Notes really has nothing to offer for your page templates. You just have to not care about it to really appreciate the app. But if page templates and covers are a big part of your notebooks, then you want to use GoodNotes. The app has page sizes and colors that you can customize to create unique pages for your notebooks. The templates available are more decent than what Apple Notes offers, and you can also bring in your own. Even buy some from the apps in App Store. From my experience though, I tend to just use one template no matter how many templates are available in an app. Just out of curiosity, how many page templates do you use for your notebooks on a regular basis? I always use one digital notebook, the narrow squared one, when the app permits. And I never really variate. In Apple Notes, which has a strange setup for PDFs, I use the narrowest squared template all the time. Both apps have a ballpoint and calligraphy pen. For the fountain pen in GoodNotes, Apple Notes has a gel pen. And for the brush pen in GoodNotes, you get a watercolor in Apple Notes. So both apps have four pen types that you can use. You also won't get a favorites toolbar in either app. GoodNotes has slightly more features than Apple Notes. You get dashed and dotted pen strokes, more custom colors on the toolbar, adjustable motion smoothness, and pressure sensitivity. In Apple Notes, those last two are not adjustable. Both apps have simple highlighters and pencils. They offer the same thickness range for your pen tool. Even though GoodNotes measures them in millimeters and Apple Notes has five fixed ones, they give you the same range. 
the pen thicknesses in Apple Notes actually feel a lot easier to use and manage than the ones in GoodNote 6. You can easily use the same thickness unlike in GoodNotes because the thicknesses in Apple Notes are a lot easier to remember. Apple Notes also has a crayon and opacity options for your writing tools, which GoodNotes does not. GoodNotes has a better eraser because it supports auto deselection. It is also selective for the highlighter and tape. With its fixed page sizes, you can also clear entire pages. Obviously, the vertically infinite canvas in Apple Notes can't support such a feature. Lastly, both apps have stroke and pixel erasers, and you can scribble to erase. Apple Notes has no zoom tool and you can't zoom directly on your pages. I use the app every day and I can't get used to not having a zoom feature in handwriting note taking app in 2025. It is simply frustrating, but not enough to change my note taking app. GoodNotes supports zooming in on your pages and it has a decent zoom tool with a wide zoom range, margins, and auto advance. The zoom tool I have never used, but I do need to zoom in on pages every once in a while. And so it can be frustrating using Apple Notes. Shapes in both apps are brilliant. They can either be hand drawn or you can use the shapes tool. GoodNotes supports irregular shapes, which Apple Notes does not. But you can draw curves and arrows in both. Apple Notes has double sided arrows. A small perk. The app also customizes your shapes better than GoodNotes, allowing you to adjust your shape border thickness and autofill opacity. You can also shrink and stretch your shapes. In GoodNotes, opacity for your autofill is fixed and your border thickness is not adjustable. But you get border styles, which Apple Notes does not have. It's difficult to choose one app over the other because they score pretty much the same for your shapes. So far, we haven't found an app that handles body text better than Apple Notes. Your text doesn't overlap onto your handwriting. Headings and titles automatically become collapsible sections. Lists can be interactive. And you can attach pretty much anything you want. Our favorite, of course, is videos. Tables are also cool, but they're a bit limited, as are your images. That's the only feature where GoodNotes is slightly better. We can resize our images much better than the setup Apple Notes gives us. Otherwise, you can't attach anything to your body text in GoodNotes. Text overlaps your handwriting if it's on the page, but it can't automatically move to the next page if you want it to. Body text in GoodNotes is more like a giant text box filling the whole page that you can't resize. It really doesn't make sense using it in GoodNotes, but you will love it in Apple Notes. The tables turn with text boxes. GoodNotes has the better tool for this one, with support for custom fonts and better styling for your text boxes. You can change the border style for your text, add some padding and subtle shadows. The app even has line spacing and you can save your favorite style to use it next time. Apple Notes can't do any of that. It just has an extra alignment option and similar formatting options to what you get in GoodNotes 6. For a handwriting note-taking app, text boxes make more sense. The ones in GoodNotes are decent.
Fortunes and good notes are good, better than apple notes, but not brilliant. You can crop, shrink and stretch your images. GoodNotes also supports stickers, which Apple Notes does not. Both apps support PNG images, image playground, and can rotate your photos. Photos in both apps are basic. Nothing to be excited about. Audio recording in Apple Notes is very different from what we're used to seeing in handwriting note-taking apps. It works though. With real-time, live audio transcription, it's better to have it than not have it at all. The audio recording tool in GoodNotes is one of the best you will find in 2025. Even though its syncing is not great, in that it is not per pixel, it compensates for that with a great transcription feature. You can edit the transcription for errors. And you even get audio links linking back to the exact timestamp in your recording. The last tool in Apple Notes is just the freehand one. So you can't change it if you prefer the rectangular one. It is not selective for anything, but you can pick up individual items very easily. The biggest advantage you have in Apple Notes is the ability to add as much space as you like between your notes on your canvas. GoodNotes sort of does that, but within a limited space that feels like a text box. The app even has alignment for your handwriting. If that is not impressive, I don't know what is. The app's lasso tool is selective for pretty much everything you add to your notes. Handwriting, images, comments, sticky notes, etc. You can move items to the front or back of other items on the page. And the lasso tool even supports gestures. The only thing your lasso tool can't do in GoodNotes, which it also can't do in Apple Notes, is change your pen thickness and stroke type for your handwriting. To use your handwritten notes in other apps, it helps when you can copy them as text. That is why I prefer the handwriting conversion in Apple Notes over the one in GoodNotes. But if you want to convert your handwriting and equations, then GoodNotes is the better app. Both apps can search through your handwriting. The only thing that GoodNotes can't do for your iPadOS support is support true dark mode. It can only change your user interface, so if you use that a lot, like I do, Apple Notes is the better app. But after that, both apps support live text input, multitasking, widgets, data detection, AI tools in iPadOS 18, and Scribble. GoodNotes is even better because it has more AI tools to use with your notes, which we recently covered. And if you want to know what those are, we will put a link to that video in the description. Both apps will search your notebooks, and you'll be able to filter them in GoodNotes to focus on results in your notes or table of contents. The previews are helpful as well. Universal search results are more organized on the app's homepage. Apple Notes can refine your search to match cases, focus on complete words, and include attachments. But GoodNotes has better organization for universal search though. Apple Notes is the better app for collaboration, even though GoodNotes has a better setup for communication.
The comments in the app are great and we hope to see a similar feature in Apple Notes because chatting through messages sucks. However, GoodNotes does not have permissions for your collaboration. You can only invite people using a link and you can't control what you track. All of that you can customize in Apple Notes. You can determine exactly who gets to see your notes by inviting people using emails. Then control whether or not they can edit or just view your notes. The cursor tracker can be distracting, and we love that in Apple Notes you can remove it. Though it's a pain to do it for every notebook, so we hope Apple can centralize that somehow. Organizing your notes is amazing in Apple Notes with tags and smart folders. You can even lock some of your folders and notebooks. GoodNotes can lock your notebooks without discrimination. Apple Notes doesn't lock a lot of your notebooks. If they have attachments, if, if you're collaborating on them, there's like a whole list of notebooks you can't lock in Apple Notes. GoodNotes is only better for your organization because it offers backup for your notes to a cloud service of your choice. The app now supports WebDAV even. Apple Notes only syncs across your devices, which GoodNotes also does. Both apps support hyperlinks with a decent workaround to access your notebook links. Apple Notes doesn't have tape, stickers, a timer, page editing, and it doesn't export decent notes out of the app, especially when they're handwritten. GoodNotes doesn't struggle with any of it. However, at the end of the day, what matters are only the features you need. Our team, for example, uses Apple Notes, and we're happy with it despite it not having certain features. Apple Notes is definitely worth looking into as a decent note-taking app in 2025. It is a great alternative for the paid notes apps, which hasn't always been the case. Let us know which of the two apps you use and why. We hope you found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And until next time, fantastic human, stay fantastic.